Hi guys, in this video, I want to share with you guys one of my childhood story. Now, I just want to know, any one of you interested to know my childhood story, give me a thumbs up. So, today I want to just talk about my childhood days and what makes me so special, what makes me successful today and I want to share with you guys my journey. So I remember when I was very young, we lived in a very old place. Um, the house is quite shattered. Um, it's quite dilapidated and um, the place is quite run down. So we work very hard. Some days my family wouldn't have the money to pay bills. Some days um, the electricity was cut down and many days I think we struggle to even survive. Okay, And uh, my family is a very poor family and uh, we, we normally don't have money to buy a place so we rent a place and the rental comes from my auntie. So my parents is not able to even afford rental where my auntie has to um, fork out some money, everybody fork out some money here and there to, to pay for rental. So with living in this kind of hostile environment and living in this kind of, um, this kind of um, place, it makes me wants to grow up faster. It makes me wants to know how to make money faster. And of course, it makes me want to um, succeed faster. But you know, guys, life is not a bit of rose. It's not rosy. So at days, so at days, I struggle. At days, I have my bad days. I struggle a lot. And so what did I do? Now, I had three names. My name, when I was young, between 12 years old to maybe 21 years old, my name is Ronald Cole. And between 25 to 35 years old, my name is Ronald K. At this point in my life, I'm a bit more mature, I'm a bit more, my head dropped, and um, I'm at my middle age, I call myself and I label myself as Ron K. Okay, so what makes Ron K so different from Ronald K and Ronald Cole? Okay, so guys, first of all, I need to thank my parents. Okay, I need to thank my parents. My 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 mom is a very traditional person, but I really really thank her. Why? Because she didn't force me to study hard. She gave me all the freedom. She gave me everything I need to succeed in life. And I think more importantly, she didn't force me to do something I don't want to do. So like, if you see in the society, many of the Singaporeans parents they were. Struck, uh, they will. Uh, I'm not struggling. They will, they will, um, wanting their child to succeed. They want their child to score the A's. They want their child to to make a mark in the society and stuff like that. So, my parents is somebody who give me all the freedom and all the care. So, that alone is very important because without all the freedom, I'll be squeezed into a box, I'll be boxed up, and I cannot think freely. Okay, so my, my father is another gentleman who. I remember when I traveled from school every day uh, from Malaysia to Singapore, it was a long journey. So I remember during my secondary school days, he fetched me um, every day. So I, I would start school at about 10 a.m. and I finish school about 8 p.m. So why is it such a long journey? Because from Malaysia, you travel to Singapore, it takes some time. And then from Singapore, you travel back to Malaysia. And of course, along the way, there are some traffic jams here and there. So when I reached um, Malaysia back when I finished school, it's about sometimes 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. When I reach home, I, am, I don't call this dinner, I eat supper. After finishing supper, I don't even have a time to study anymore. So, what do I do? After finishing my supper, I would do a little bit of homework here and there, and that's about it. So, during my school days, it's very tough, so I flunk my exams. Um, I'm not the brightest student in school, but what's making me so hungry, so determined to succeed in the stock market. So I remember when I was in secondary four, after finishing my um, O-level, I asked myself, what do I really want? Do I want to continue study or do I want to continue to work? And I decided I would go take some apprenticeship under some any company that is willing to hire me. Maybe do a sales job, maybe do an office admin, it doesn't matter. So I work really hard and my pay is probably like a $1,200 a month. It was very tough. Okay, guys. So, as the years passed by, I realized working is not the way to go. Okay. Why working wasn't, wasn't the way to go? 
is because as you work and work, no matter how much you work, maybe 10 years, maybe 20 years, you are unable to save a million dollars unless you draw a very high salary. But because of my education, because of my qualification, I wasn't able to find a good job. Okay, What struck my life? Guys, there was this one moment I remember so important. There was this one moment. One day, I remember one of my friends told me, Ron, do you know the market is so hot? I just made like $35,000. I said, what do you do? So he just bought some stocks here and there. Any stocks he picked, the stock ran. So I was like, I mean, there's no free lunch in the world. And I was, I was thinking to myself, is there such thing? So true enough, he showed me his trading account. He made $35,000 in this one stock. I can't remember what penny stock he was trading. And I thought to myself, if I can just click buttons and see money, that would be great. So I asked myself, very honestly, what do I really want and what can I, what am I able to achieve? So I'm not interested in doing sales job. I'm not in, uh, interested in being an insurance agent. I'm not interested in being a property agent. I'm not interested in doing business. All I care is I want to go home every day, see the red button, the buy button and the sell button, and just by clicking buttons and see money. So is it even fiasco? This was fiasco. So I did that for many years. There were some, some bad days, some good days. So I asked myself, my hit rate wasn't that consistent. So what do I need to do to increase my consistency and my accuracy? So I worked really, really hard, even harder than I worked back then um, when I was studying. Okay. So from, I think it was about 28 to 35, when my name is Ronald K, I started giving public speeches. I started blogging. I started training more often. Okay. And during this period of time, that's where I gained a lot of success. Why? Because as I trade more often, my skill brought me to another level. Why? Because I'm doing repetitive work over and over again every day. Okay, guys, success is very boring because you're just doing one thing, two things every day over and over again. So that's what I did so many years. At this point in my life, like I said, my name is Ron K. Um, I would say I don't take trades so often these days, but when I take good trades, all calculated trades, I'm going to hit a big one. Okay. So guys, I just want to tell you guys something. It doesn't matter your parents is poor. It doesn't matter your education is uh, uh, average. It doesn't matter how you speak. It doesn't matter what you do. The most important thing and the number one thing that you need to do is know yourself. What do you really want to achieve? For me, I know it at an early, early age. Okay. But seriously, in this video, I just want to thank my father, my mother for giving me all the freedom all the um, um, whatever they, 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 they provided me but more importantly because we live in a very bad situation we live in a uh, quite poverty background that's where it drove me harder strive harder wanting to succeed and that's where I really built a name for myself today and if I can do it everyone can do it you know right mom if you, if, mom, if you watch this video, you know I love you, right, guy? Dad, if you, know, if you watch this video, you know I love you, right? So, guys, with this video, I hope you understand that it doesn't matter what you do in life, right? be it business, be it trading, be it investment, be it property, it just doesn't matter what you do. Be focused, be determined, find a solution for everything, no complaints, and strive yourself, push yourself. If you hit a plateau, if you hit an obstacle, find a way to resolve that thing. And I think along the way, if you know how to find solutions, that's where you build your success. That's what I did. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.